A new survey shows that six out of ten parents enrolled their children in private education before entering elementary school, with around half taking three or more different subjects a year. 네, 한 조사에서 학부모 10명 중 6명이 자녀가 초등학교 입학하기 전부터 사교육을 시키고 있으며 이중 절반 가량이 연간 사교육 과목 수가 3개 이상이라고 답했습니다. 먼저 이거부터 봐야 되겠죠? Enroll children in private education. Ah, you can enroll children, you can enroll yourself as well yeah. into any kind of course or school, mm -hmm. hogwan. Enroll, that verb is used when you're signing up for some type of course that you're going to study. Yeah, enroll in university. Right, enroll in university, exactly. Yeah. Even just a course, like, you know, you might take like a... You know, a two or three month course, for example, mm. you could you could say you've you've enrolled in that as well. Enroll in a course. Uh, e N R O L L. Enroll. It means you're taking that class right. or course, or you're going to that school. You've signed up. You've signed up. 네, 그렇죠. 아, 뭔가에 이제 등록했다라는 건데 여기서는 학교의 개념 아니면 뭐 어떤 코스가 될 수도 있고요. 과정이 될 수도 있고. I guess we could use register as well. Yeah. But register, like you could say, oh, I registered for that course. Okay. You could say that. Mm -hmm. um, register can also be used for other things, like you've joined a sports league, for example. Right. Or you've registered for like a membership, for example. Mm, but you wouldn't say you've enrolled in your health club. No, no, right. exactly. You yeah. wouldn't do that at all. You wouldn't, right. or you wouldn't say you've enrolled on the local soccer team. Right. So enroll is pretty much for school. Pretty much for school. Academic. Yeah, exactly. Mm, okay. And to take a subject? That means like in Korea, we always, everyone always says to study, right? To study, 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 study. We have to study this. Right. Um, whereas uh, English speakers usually use study when you're just reviewing what you're, what you've already learned in school, mm -hmm. right? You're preparing for your test. Mm. You're studying the material. So taking a class, it's the same way that Koreans, oh, we have to, what, what are we studying? Yeah. But it just means what classes are you going to? What are you learning? So we have to say, we have to say, we have to say, take a class. We have to say, take a subject. We have to say, we have to say, we have to say, it's confusing, I think, because the verb we use in Korean for taking a class is 듣다. So to listen to a class, yeah, right? But, but, it, but also in English, in English. No. No. But why do we say take for everything? Like what, when I complain about, you know, sometimes Korean verbs being com confusing, mm. my wife will say to me, do you know how many different things you use take for? Mm. Like, take your phone with you. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Bring take it with a you. Picture. But then she's like, take a bus. Where do take you take bus. the bus? You pr yeah. put it under your arm and it's you one of take words. a shower with you somewhere that, to the that's park? That's true. So many different translations right. for that one verb. Exactly. So for classes, mm. and that's a natural thing. Like, so say you meet yeah. your friend again, at university, right? Yeah. I bump into somebody I know. Mm. This would happen. Oh, what classes are you taking this semester? Exactly. Not... What classes are you studying? No, you know, what Definitely are you studying? Not, what are you listening? Right, what classes that. are you listening to? Right. No, no, what are you no. taking? What are you taking? That's the verb to use. Take, it's such a useful verb, and it's used in so many different ways, but in this case, a subject or a class. Exactly.